All right. I got the uh, Simicron. 2800 bucks plus another 160 uh, megabyte uh, Taipei CF Express card. And it's starting to ring. And no traffic. Outstanding. So, I took a picture of the Sigma F2 um, or 2.8, and uh, it was not as sharp as the manual one. The Leica, and that was an F2. I was very well impressed. The only thing it had, it was a little thing on the hood. But that hood is uh, with the uh, lens, so you just pull it up, lock in place. Excellent quality, smaller than the uh, Voigtlander 75 millimeter, f1.8. Put in the lens correction, everything is working beautifully, love it. So I'm gonna do a review on that lens. So now I have three manual focus lens One's a Nikon F, but I got an adapter to uh, uh, the uh, Leica L. I got a Leica M to Leica L, and I got a Leica um, or I got a Nikon to a Leica, and then I got a Leica M to a Nikon. <laughs> I, I got three adapters, right? Two for Leica and one for Nikka. Just to use all three lenses on the different camera systems. traffic I should have used the light instead and what I might do is just make a right at Oblate and go back down Makoa, which I don't like doing because I want to get on the highway. I might do this. Just do it this way. It's a lot easier. Okay. Did it. Happy. So instead of paying like four to five thousand dollars for a lens, I got it for twenty eight hundred. I'm happy. I love the lens. He uh, says, well, you should do auto-focusing. I says, well, that, uh, I mean, I love the small size of the Sigma F2. Yes, it's auto-focus, but I'll, I'll say one thing, folks. Um, using that 90 millimeter manual, APO, I think it's, ASPH, might be saying that wrong, uh, lens, you know, I'm going to go in this lane, uh, 
was clear. I mean, it was sharp. And I did a manual focus on it. I was showing the sales lady. She says, yep, you got it. <laughs> you know what you're doing. I don't know if I ever pick up an M camera, which I might. I've been watching the monochrome series compared to the 10R. Then I came out with the 11, the P, which is supposed to have uh, the digital uh, stuff for make sure that your pictures aren't stolen or modified. They haven't come out with 11P yet. Better ISO, 60 megapixels instead of, uh, well, the 10R was 60 megapixels. But uh, like on Red Dot Forum, they said that, uh, well, if you get the latest version, they modified everything. The only difference with 11, you get like a bigger internal storage from 64 to 256. Better ISO. Well, there's a few things better. Uh, I did like what they said about the 246 was that was the only M camera that, yep, I shouldn't have switched the camera. The camera was straight. It's crooked now. And now I got all green light, so I can't go at the stoplight. Switch. There's a lady selling flowers. Let me try something. There we go. Now I'm going to move it up like that. All right, hope it stays. That looks good. So when you see the, the car in front of you with the horizon and it looks pretty straight, you got it right square on the money. So pictures will be coming up. And I'm going to be using two cameras. And the shocker was, or is, I got a 24 megapixel camera. And I got a 45 megapixel camera that can use that lens. San San Pedro to see uh, if it's quicker to get on the highway. And I might just go uh, where's Buck Parkway too. It is sprinkling outside. I don't want to get my camera gear wet. Trying to decide if I want to go uh, Yeah, this isn't bad at all. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic though. So I've been trying with the um, um, my um, 
love series on cameras that I think are pretty good. Uh, the Z7 II is a 45 megapixel. It'll do 4K 60, but it does overheat after a while, okay? But, when I say this, uh, it will do photos in 8K. <coughs> I got all the traffic. traffic here and what might be going on is people are starting to go home it's just before rush hour I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to go uh, oh by the way with this active stabilization I want to try it in the daytime to see how it is and it still looks a little bit kind of crooked but at least it was straighter than before and you see, I got a leveler in the car, too. <laughs> I forget to use it all the time. So, I don't see a dummy cable uh, part for the Sony. You know, where I can close the door all the way. So, I leave it open. It has a fan, fan built into it. I like my ZV-1 Mark II, but this is at 4K60. So it should be buttery smooth. I'm at 1 1 25th of a shutter speed at F8. The only thing that's blinking is the ISO 125, and I don't know if it wants it lower or higher. And the police are out. It's 1st of May. And I think I'll go all the way to Evans. So I can bring the manual lenses with me. Now with all three boxes, I can use the um, SL2S. I can use the uh, Nikon cameras, ZA. I haven't tried it on the Z9. I have tried it on the ZF. I got that with me, and then the uh, Z72. Z62, I'm going to keep at home. Z72, I might bring it along. Uh, I'm going to keep all my Sony equipment at home, but. I might bring the FX3. I got the laptop so I can change the files or transfer files off the disk to keep it empty and clear so when I want to film something, I can do something real quick. The Panasonic's crop too much, but this is a crop sensor camera, so think it's better suited for that 4K 60. And the Panasonics do have fans. I like a Q3 I was using, which was 
pretty happy with, but it did overheat twice. Yeah, folks, I I put cameras through the uh, hardest possibilities, known as. I mean, they have dash cam cameras and stuff, which are okay. But uh, when it gets hot here in Texas and where I'll be driving to, midday to about 4 o'clock, I wouldn't recommend filming stuff. I mean, you could if you have it in the shade. Then uh, you have a problem with reflection off the windshield. I have used the uh, SL2S, and it's a champ too. It's a bigger camera. Yeah, I don't know what this truck is trying to do. He's kind of slowing down. I don't know if he wants to get off at Evans. I'm going to let him. Let the car go ahead of me on the right. Yeah, you see, I knew he was going to do it. He kept looking. Now he's changing his mind. Well, maybe not. I have that problem too with my turn signal. You turn it to the right, get off right, then you, you know, you try to put it back in the center and it goes to the left. So, that happens to me too. So the reason why he's driving it slow is a brand new truck he just bought. He's probably going to McDonald's or the gym. Or Taco Cabana or the bank. Or the emergency uh, care now, urgent care. Got a COVID-19 rapid test. I got that at home too. I got a, also got French fries. So I got a cap on my left rear mower. And he had a filling on the bottom, and he capped it on the top. Well, that filling fell out. I like the old silver fillings, they don't fall out. But this new stuff that they use doesn't last. I had an argument with the dentist because I wanted it pulled out. He said my other teeth will start to fall out. He didn't recommend it. Never did like the cap, so I'm thinking I'm getting it pulled out. I'm thinking of a bridge, but I don't know.
So the stabilization looks good. The video looks good. I'm going to have to look at the uh, focus thing again. See, if this 4K60 was cropped, the vehicle would be a lot closer. So I don't think there's that much of a crop compared to the S5 II. The S52X is probably the same thing, same way. So sprinklers must have been going on. Or it rained in this area. Wow. Everything looks wet, so it did rain. Everybody's trying to sell flowers. I'm going to give her some money. water <laughs> or I'll give it to a nice pretty girl yeah it rained I wonder if it rained in my house so San Antonio is funny it's a big area, metropolitan area. Mm. Okay. Dusty Canyon. Can you read the sign? It looks so tiny on this screen.
So I've been recording for three hours and 30 minutes since I got this camera. Uh, I put that green stuff down to make grass grow, I guess. Um, this past year, they uh, were doing something, some type of construction, so they made kind of like a road to work on it. I think it was piping. And anyway, the grass didn't grow back. So they put that green stuff on. I don't know if it works. Sometimes you don't get grass growing back, you get weeds instead. It's real rocky here, I notice. Look at the side of the roads. It's just all rock and besides some trash. It's unreal. Even the uh, middle of the road. They need uh, some um, sweepers to come by, like our neighborhood. So I think the stabilization is real good on this uh, camera uh, for this part. I did have it off and then I put on the standard and now I got active stabilization. And what I'm looking at is uh, it's pretty good. When I had it off it was shaking too much. Then I put it on standard and it was a little bit better but I noticed it was still jumping too much. So I put the active on and uh, I don't see much shaking at all, especially when we go over railroad tracks and stuff. Oh man, these are nice roses. Put them in a jar. She didn't give me any of those stuff for the uh, roses. I didn't plant them in the ground, they won't live. You need to have a root system. So we should be coming up to a school shortly. The Memorial, or Veterans Memorial uh, High School.
Oh my. Now, this was a short light last night, but I think with traffic, I don't see any cameras, but uh, usually if you see cameras, yeah, I, I see one now. It can tell if there's a lot of traffic, so then the light stays on longer. They really need two lanes here. I see they have kind of like a bicycle path. Yeah, the light did come on short. Okay. Very good. It's a cement factory. So I saw, man, they cleared out a lot of cement bags. So we know where that's going. Holy cow, they put a lot of it outside. They cleared out just about the whole warehouse. My goodness. I mean, it's not completely closed in. It is fenced. But, uh, yeah. So this is a pretty drive right here. I like going on this road, it's pretty smooth. It beats following other vehicles all the time. There's, I have two vehicles in front of me, but usually I don't see any. But they may be going to high school. We'll pick someone up. about a little bit about the acid reflux. So I take a lot of Tums. I'm drinking less coffee. I'm eating too much junk food as it is. But it's less than uh, what I've been when I was working at the post office. So it's rough right here. I used the, uh, I turned left last night, went down through the warehouses, but you know what? I should have just stayed straight on this road because this is the worst road <laughs> with all the shaking. So if you really want to check the stabilization on the camera, Go to Evans Road right off of uh, FM 2252 or uh, Nacogdoches Road. Turn right at Evans. And you know, if you stay on this road, it'll get smooth. You can 
go to the highway I-35, but this is a well-used road. It's a farm road, actually. Farmer's been cleaning up his place pretty much. It's looking good. See how they have potholes and stuff here? This building to the right used to be a, a dance hall. They got a new blue bonnet dance hall off of which we passed last night too on Church Road and Lookout Road. I think it's called the Blue, ba blue Bonnet Palace. Never been there. And I see a bulldozer there. Now the road gets better. Horse doctor to the right with goats. And a lot of old equipment that should be disposed of. You know, they got an old oven and yeah, those are going to the church. Or it could be going to a uh, horse doctor. The goats are to the right. Uh, I don't think you can see them. Not wide enough. Well, I could put it at 10 millimeters, but then you really can't see them because then they'll be so tiny. So I do have it at 20 millimeters. And it is at F8. And I don't know if I can get by. Then again, I might. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I decided to turn left. Those roses look fairly new. There's the sign. Got a lot of apartments now on this road. We got a hospital being built to the left of me. And they're working hard. They got everything level just about. Ah, University Health System, Retama Hospital. Cool. That's kind of like the South Texas Medical Center, UTSA. University of Texas Health Science Center. And I think they shortened the university because they got Texas A&M and quite a few colleges now. So it's not just the University of Texas. Yeah, I can cut my trees in the back and put it with this bunch. 
I can throw it in the trash for tomorrow too. Looking good. So thank you for tagging along. I just want to say uh, stay safe, keep smiling, and I shall see you next time. Have a wonderful week, day, and uh, goodbye, folks.